All right, now pay close attention. This is going to be how our homework is going to look as well. So if you need help with this, um, let me know because now we got to get it straight. Okay. Um, so the base is a rectangle, or you could say it's a square. Uh, lateral faces are triangles. So we know it's a pyramid. What kind of pyramid? A rectangular pyramid, because it's named after its base. And then its net would be that square or rectangle at the bottom with triangles coming off of each of the edges. So triangle coming off that edge, triangle coming off this edge, triangle coming off this edge, and a triangle coming off this edge, something like that. So identify and draw. So this would be a cube, or we can call it a rectangular prism. It's got rectangles for its bases, no triangles for its lateral faces. So we, it has to have those triangles if it's a pyramid. Cube or rectangular prism. And then its net would look uh, with cubes. The nets always look kind of like a cross. Just like that. Okay. Of course, they can be made in different ways, but that's a common uh, design for a net for a cube. Okay, identify and sketch the solid figure that can be formed by the net. So here's our net. Notice all the shapes are triangles. Uh, since it's got all those triangles, we know it is a triangular pyramid. Since it's a triangular pyramid, it's going to have a triangular base and then triangles coming off, meeting up at one point. It's going to look something like that. They actually do them a lot better in the book here. Let me try to do one like they did. So they do this and then have a point in the center and do their dotted lines. I like that better. So we're looking at the front of the pyramid and then the back has these lines. Okay, our next one, this is another cube. I know because it's got all squares. So it's a cube or we could say a rectangular prism or a square prism. Any of those would be acceptable answers. And to make a cube, draw a square, draw a square, connect the, ver connect the vertexes. Here, let me do another one. I'll do it a little bigger. Again, I'm far from perfect, but this gives you an idea. So these are all the vertexes, and now I just connect the corresponding vertexes. So this connects with that, that connects with that, connects, connects, and we got our cube. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.